What's going on guys? I'm down the estate of dreams. I've got a session today. It's all focused on the Cardiff Half Marathon. We're about two weeks out and um, I'm nicely fueled. But today's session is two lots of four miles. Um, it's meant to be a half marathon pace. I haven't really done any half marathon training or much training because the last six weeks all I've done is race. Um, I don't know if that's just a mental thing for me or um, or because I, literally I haven't done too much training because I have been racing but sometimes the best way to get fit is the race so I get, you know I've been running good times so I guess I am in some decent shape. Um, I have no clue what my target should be for the half marathon so I'm going to find out today so I'm going to aim for 321s so if I can do 321s for half marathon that's um, an hour, 10 and like 40 and 48 seconds um, so it's pretty quick stuff I'm going to give that a go obviously if I can't hang on for the two lots of four miles then I'll probably have to go back a little bit and try and do 325s for the half marathon and then at least then the last couple of miles of that half marathon I should feel a little bit stronger if I have uh, you know underachieved the, what I could run so yeah gonna give that a go today gonna attempt to run 321s for four miles three minutes jog rest and then do the four miles again and uh, well we'll soon find out if I can run a sub 71 half marathon let's go Lots of four miles done. The range just heading in. John still doing his um, 20k session, um, so he's gonna get a little bit wetter than me. Uh, went really well. The first four miles, um, I was hitting about 319 pace, and then three minutes rest, and then the second lot of four miles was around. 323 pace so a little bit slower than the first one but the target was 321 per kilometer so to get that done and to run you know around 321 pace is pretty good and um, that's sub 71 pace so I have to rethink what my target for Cardiff half is now have a have a chat with the coach see what he thinks because you know I've still got to do five miles after doing what I've just done today, which is really tough. And obviously you've got to go up on a, up around Rough Lake, which is really tough as well. And um, you know, that, that hill takes soul. So um, yeah, we've got to definitely rethink what my target is for Cardiff Half. And you know, I've still got, we're still two weeks out. So we've, I know I've got another eight mile session without the three minutes rest. So it'd be interesting. I think that will be the icing on the cake to see uh, how well and you know what time I can run in the half um, because obviously I'm not having that rest so yeah but all good stuff session done oh I'm getting out of the rain I'm gonna wait for John to finish his session he's absolutely rolling to be fair stickers total session was 13.4 kilometers so if you're not kilometers What's that six seven eight about eight oh yeah obviously it's eight miles eight miles yeah eight mile session eight miles uh so total time 46 minutes 
Uh, average pace was 327, but that's including the recovery. The first four miles was in 21.24. Uh, that's an average pace of 319. So 319, 319 is sub 70 pace. Yeah, 319 is sub 70 pace. So I can hang on for sub 70 pace for four miles, but then I think um, the wheels would definitely fall off in the half marathon. Um, Cause I did enjoy that three minutes recovery, I won't lie taking the gel as well so i took the gel i took my molten gel wherever i've chucked the wrapper because we don't litter um yeah i took the gel like about less than a kilometer to go off the first four miles and it was so difficult to swallow like just not used to running and it was it was it was really difficult. So I took it's a Morton gel, so caffeine in it, so it's got a bit of everything in there. Um it's a hydro sports fuel gel. Uh, it's got forty grams of carbohydrates. Um so which I'm pretty sure that's a lot for in a gel. I know this John's still out there and it started to piss down. So I finished at the right time. My target for today was 321, bang on in the middle. So I was two seconds faster for the first lot, two seconds fa uh, slower for the second lot. Um, you know, running on your own, haven't done long distance um, training in forever. So, you know, all things considered, that's a pretty solid session. Um, but it still doesn't give me a certain time on what I want to run. I guess, yeah, well, I guess a little bit faster, a little bit slower. That's hit the 321 pace and let's go for that sub 71 half marathon. Um, so, you know, have a little chat with the coach, see what he says. Um, oh, nice, John's finished. And, um, and then we'll go from there. So that's the session done. So today I'll be using the Morton Hydrogel uh, drink mix. Um, 320 in just under 500 ml of water so I'll be using that for energy before my 8 mile run and then I'll be using that, the caffeine gel mid uh, session it needs to be under 500 ml of water otherwise it just becomes a normal sport drink uh, and we didn't turn to more done for a normal sport drink Cardiff half marathon prep. Today I've got to run eight miles, 15 seconds slower per mile than my half marathon pace. So today I'll be running every kilometer in 330s. So we're down in the state of dreams today. Conditions are pretty good. Um, been, I'm practicing, practicing my nutrition today. So I've had my morning breakfast. I've had a Morton uh, 360 uh, drink mix and then Halfway in the run, I'm going to be practicing taking this gel. Uh, it's failed to prepare, prepared to fail. And the last thing we want in the car to fail when I take a gel is to have a bad stomach. So we're making sure the stomach is used to taking gels. Um, and obviously I've got to practice swallowing it uh, whilst running fast. So it's all about preparation today and just keeping it nice and controlled uh, for the eight miles. Let's get into it. because it improves your mechanics and it makes you more efficient.
promising stuff. So I practice carrying both of my gels in my shorts, even though it's a small pocket, uh, and the, the gels weigh quite a bit, considering I'm used to uh, carrying nothing on me whilst running. Um, I was quite pleased with you know, carrying both gels, and then as soon as I took the first gel within the first 25 minutes, uh, I, could I could barely feel the second gel in my pocket. Uh, and I continued the rest of the run carrying the gel. So at least I know when I race, these are the shorts I'll be wearing. And I, as I'm used to carrying the gel now, it's not gonna be on my mind or irritating me. So that's really promising stuff. Eight miles done in 44 minutes. Average 328 per kilometer pace. Quite comfortable, um, which is a bit of a confidence booster. Um, 328 was literally my pace for last year's half marathon. So to run that comfortable for eight miles in training, that's a bit promising and it shows how fit and strong I am this year. So the target for this year is to run around 321 and then hopefully I'll be able to run under 71 minutes for half marathon.